Hello, I'm Amir Fussell and in this video we learn about the filter function. Filter function in Python. Okay, so filter is a higher order function and like the name uh, implies filter is for filtering from a sequence or a list. So we can filter uh, according to some criteria uh, from a sequence or a list or an iterable okay so before looking at the filter function let's create a normal function that is is positive okay this is a predicate function that means is positive will check if the number given is positive or not okay so uh, what is a positive number? We know that the number uh, greater than zero, greater than maybe or equal to zero, let's say equal to zero, is positive number, right? And if the number is greater than or equal to zero, that number is a positive number. So let's check that. Is positive, by the way, this is greater than or equal to a relational operator. This will uh, return either true or false, the boolean true or boolean false. That means this function is a predicate function. That means it, it returns true or false. So is positive 3. What is is positive 3? Three? 3 is a positive number true, right? True. And uh, is positive uh, 223 that's also true what is negative 223 that is false negative 1 false negative um, 0 just 0 uh, that is true because 0 well in our disc in our definition of is positive 0 is also a positive number that's how we defined it right so 0 is a positive number uh, 10 true so let's create a list of numbers and let's say minus 56 uh, 45 minus 678 minus 4 uh, 3 34 0 uh, 343 okay so this many numbers is that is our numbers we want to filter only the positive numbers from this list. How can we do that? We can use something called a filter function. Okay, so filter is a higher order function and uh, the way to use function filter function is filter in the uh, parenthesis that is the first argument should be the function name. We have created a function is positive, right? Is positive uh, function comma the next is our lists the uh, our list the numbers list so uh, numbers and hit enter we can see it has ret returned a um, filter object we can actually see that list if we convert that into a list using list built-in function see now we can see only the positive numbers here uh, uh, and 0. We can see minus 56, minus 678, minus 4. These numbers are filtered or omitted from uh, because we used the filter function and is positive here. Okay? So this is how we use the filter function. Uh, let's, uh, let's create a is negative function. Okay? Is negative function. Def is negative a uh, number return what is a negative number number is less than zero right when a number is less than zero that's a negative number test the uh, function please uh, is negative uh, three that is false is negative zero that's also false because we said less than zero right so minus 567 that is true minus 1 that is also true so is negative right let's say 
we want to now what was the numbers um, numbers was this big list we want to filter out filter uh, again use the use of filter function again uh, now instead of is positive say is negative is negative what will happen we can guess here what will happen the negative numbers will be there and all the positive numbers will be filtered out that is removed so see the a new list is created with only the negative numbers all the positive numbers are gone in the new list so uh, this is the filter function and let's try another example uh, let's say uh, we want to create a, a list of fruits and what are the fruits mango um, this is a list of strings uh, the earlier this is a list of numbers now we are creating a list of strings lemon ma mango oh, what is another fruit melon um, papaya papaya uh, maybe uh, mulberry uh, comma uh, orange right so so many fruits fruits and we can see many fruits here so let's say we want to create a function that checks whether the string the fruit is starting with the letter m so we can say uh, we can create a function starts with m function this is a predicate function that means uh, it will take a string or a fruit name and return um, whether the first letter so what is the first letter string of zero right string of zero equal to uh, m right so here the string of zero that means the first letter m or l or whatever in the given string if it is m it will return true otherwise it will return false so we can check starts with with m um, what is the fruit name uh, strawberry strawberry false strawberry is not starting with an m let's try the fruit mulberry true because mulberry starts with an m that's what is here so let's uh, ask orange false mango mango okay uh, this is working fine and we have a fruits list here and we want to filter use the filter for this fruit uh, fruits list right so say list convert that in the entire filter object into a list F list filter what was the function name starts with uh, m so filter is a higher order function a higher order function will receive a function as an input normally functions will only take normal data types like uh, numbers and lists and things like that data here filter is receiving a function as an as an input this is a little unusual if you are not familiar with these ideas uh, <laughs> right so this is something called applicative programming uh, function we are using functions uh, as input okay higher order function filter so starts with m and fruits and list filter starts with m function and fruits see only the the uh, fruits with m is returned okay so that's another example maybe another example if you are curious um, uh, okay we can actually use instead of uh, saying giving a list here uh, giving a function name we can actually use a lambda expression so earlier we did the is positive or is negative uh, we can actually use a one line function one liner an anonymous function without actually defining the function separately 
we can create the function on the go so lambda number what is a positive number number greater than or equal to zero right so we defined the function here itself on the fly and the second argument um, minus one my minus two minus three oh zero one two three okay so uh yeah only the positive numbers are returned because our function our lambda expression only returns the numbers greater than zero only returns true for the numbers which are greater than uh, zero or greater than or equal to zero right the function is applied on each of these elements and if it returns true that that object is retained or added to the new list that it creates right so yeah and let's do the same for the negative numbers we just have to say number less than zero see only the negative numbers are returned compare this and this see only the difference is here right so yeah and that's the lambda expression use of lambda expressions inside a filter function maybe a normal example odd or even what are odd numbers odd numbers are one uh, three five seven nine these are odd numbers right we can create a an odd number function uh, list filter lambda number uh, how, how can we create an odd number so if the number mode two and not equal to zero that's an odd number right if the number mode two modulo division two if it is not zero that's an odd number right and let's say uh, wh what are the numbers one two uh, three four five six seven what are the odd numbers here close the lambda close the filter what are the odd numbers here one three five and seven right and hit enter see it worked just fine only one three five and seven is returned because this piece of code here right and let's create an even number uh, lambda expression instead of saying not equal to zero equal to zero when a number is divided by two and if there is no remainder that means it's an even number right so say only two four and six is returned because of this piece of code here right so uh, this is filter and in the last video we actually tr tried the map function and um, map function is also another um, higher order function and um, map and filter and um, uh, another function is reduce these are uh, higher order functions and we can actually do many interesting things when we combine these functions so uh, we will discuss that in a separate video so map function so I, I want you to look at this map and filter function we can see that it receives a function as an input and it returns a sequence right so it is called it is uh, different from normal functions because it actually takes function as an input okay so yeah in the next video we will discuss this function reduce um, map filter and reduce we will discuss that function in the next video and um, thanks for watching um, subscribe to my youtube channel and share and like this video please thank you